Good afternoon, folks. It's Sunday, Mother's Day. I've been uh, showing you folks what I've been working on with the uh, sprig harvester. I figured I might as well show you the uh, the uh, mechanism that puts them in the dirt. This is a Bermuda King four-row sprig transplanter. It uh, was part of the deal that my son got when he went to Georgia to uh, get to where we could uh, plant our own Bermuda grass. Uh, this uh, mechanism has uh, a sword type opener that uh, opens a furrow and it's got some uh, agitators in the body that uh, separate the sprigs and move them forward and throw them in a a little uh, chute that goes down to that furrow then it's got two disc openers behind the furrow that throw dirt over it and then it's got a rubber tire that follows along on the trench to uh, pack it down and the mechanism you're looking at that right now is your uh, your floor chain feed and it's adjustable for your bushels per acre and usually the rule of the thumb is is if uh, a, uh, an area will hold a bushel of grain it'll hold a bushel of uh, sprigs so we uh, being as we're going to be planting our own we can kind of dig our own sprigs and we can kind of put as many bushels to the acre as we want to uh, there are folks out there that have these transplanters and they'll come and plant your Bermuda grass but uh, it will cost you about two to three hundred dollars per acre so this side over here is the mechanism that uh, drives the beaters you can see we got two of them up in there to, to uh, tear the sprigs up and disperse them and throw them forward so you usually try to keep them level with the with the with the body you don't try to mound them up too high because uh, they'll uh, create a, 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 a well, I guess you'd call it a jam but I got some work to do on it and I'll show you when I start doing that I'll uh, let you see what I'm doing maybe uh, it'll enlighten you somehow but you can go on the internet and you can see these things in action there's a whole another company out there called Sprigger's Choice it makes one but his has a lot of moving parts on it and you notice that uh, anytime you got a lot of moving stuff there's a lot of stuff to wear out the, the simpler you can keep it the better off you are I've got the uh, digger sitting over in the shade because uh, I had to replace some more uh, uh, chain rollers and guides on it but it's getting pretty close to being complete I got two more rollers down at the pickup that I got to replace and those will be it'll be ready for the field uh, you folks I'm standing out here and it's fixing to come some rain and we could really use it so you folks take care and if you folks that are getting too much rain I hope that she'll dry out to where you can get in the fields you folks have a a nice day and a nice week and as I always say look for me when you see me